Ultra Gogeta Blue. Pretty cool pose. So landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. Center point of my page is about here. Come down over to the left. We start with the W shape in the middle of his eyebrows. So we're lower than halfway. And he's got a big hand up here. So the head is like down here, right? It's like down bottom left sort of side. So let's go. So this sort of W shape, right? So we got like a curved line and then another one here. Okay, so we got this kind of W and the eyebrow will come out from here. Right, so it'll go like that way. Right, so then we have like a little spike here and then it goes up. And then we bring it back down towards that W shape and we get skinnier as we go down. Okay. So we're in three quarter pose. So that means like his head is turned away a little bit. So we got this eyebrow coming out from here, but it goes like more vertical, right? So it goes like up this way. Okay, so we're higher up, see, than the other eyebrow. And then it'll just go down here. And then we'll like get skinnier again as we go down to the bottom here. Right, so then we have a big eye, so we go Small line, long line, and then we just kind of curve them together like so. His iris then just in underneath here, a half a circle, just underneath like that. The other eye comes out from here, really close to the nose, and we got a long line there. And then we just join these together, like so. And then his iris, a little sliver of an eye just looking up at us. Then we'll have like eyebrow lines. And then his nose just comes out from here, like so, in line sort of with this left hand side. See? of the frown in the middle of his face, right? So it'll go like down from here and then it'll like hook out. Goes back in and up to there. <clears throat> and they always draw in this sort of shadow underneath. Right, like so. Maybe you could have a line there and some cheek lines that Dragon Ball characters have. these sort of curved lines on his cheek so he's got a real confident smile he's down up like so and then a little smile line there and you got the face is a curved object right so you'll see like the, there's this sort of curved line that runs down the middle of his face right so like curves this way so the chin is just like in line with that curve. Right, like that. So it all curves down here. And because we're in three quarter pose, we're different both sides. We see jaw here and cheek here. So the jaw on this side will go oop, this way towards his ear. And then we got cheek on this side. So it like curves up beside the nose. Right, so it's like a different line to this. So we go around his face. Like that, so that's like his cheek. And then we go out for his brow. And then around the brow and up to the forehead. Like so. Okay, so hairline just comes in this way, down to like a V in the middle, comes back here, and you go like underneath a hair spike, like right here, so it's like, we'll draw it in, so we go over here, hair spike comes down across his face there, 
and then it'll go back up around like so and you'll have some like hairline in there so his hairline comes out here down around to his sideburn like so you could have like some lines on the end of that and then from the sideburn we get the ear which curves around here back down to the jaw and then you have ear lines inside so the easiest way to start it is always this sort of letter j kind of thing and then the lines inside the ear if you want to make it a little bit more complicated like so Okay, so it's hair. So coming out from, say like the side of his head here, we'll start with this one. So we go out, back down. And then this goes up. Back down like so. Next one in the middle. This, and then another one. And this one will go behind his hand, but we'll, we'll draw it all in just to sort of get everything in the right place. And then there's a small one back here somewhere. That kind of goes behind his shoulder here. But we got like two more spikes just up here. And then another one. Like that. And then texture lines. So you're just like following each sort of hair spike, the general shape, right? Like that. Okay, so we got this big arm here, right? And then his shoulders here, so easiest way. So we start with like his shoulder pads and then maybe his torso, right? So we got like a shoulder pad coming out from his cheek just here. Right, one on that side. Another one comes out from underneath his ear. This one's bigger, right, because it's closer to us, right? So this one's smaller than that one. And then it bumps out here. And then we have a second one that goes around under his arm. Like that. And then his waistcoat, right? So it's kind of like blowing in the breeze here. Just flowing out this way. that and the waistcoat hanging down on this side as well you see could have some four lines and stuff on that so center line for his chest just there top of his chest muscles comes across like that chest muscle goes out around here and this big one goes under here he can add some muscle fiber lines just coming around that chest. And then some neck muscles just in here. Be an Adam's apple. Okay, so like the side of his body sort of comes down this way. So it bumps down here twice like that 
and then it'll curve around for his waistband just like curves all the way around here goes underneath his arm but we can just see the edge of his waistband here and this is all <clears throat> bumps and stuff sort of on it so like all these kind of curved lines that and we have some more anatomy inside here so we got like his diaphragm sort of shape here and then some abs that like curve down this way Like so, and oblique muscles just here. Like that. Right, so now on this side, we'll do the small arm. So, curves around for a shoulder pad there. And then we can see either his bicep or his shoulder. I'm gonna guess it's his shoulder. So it curves around again. And you've got some just muscle fiber lines there. And then his forearm comes out. Right there. And then we meet his hand. But before I draw, hands we'll get more of the stuff because it's better to do the hands sort of together so we get some more of his sort of fabric waistband that's like curving out this way it kind of flows off there and then another that there's like a little spike sticking out there okay and then his other arm over here so we got that big shoulder pad here so that means we've got like shoulder muscle here and then like a big wristband right coming all the way it's real high right so coming down here around So, then this goes around there, and his hand will come out from this sort of space, right? So, we've got like some lines in there. So, forearm comes down to elbow, so it's really big, right? Because it's like right up close to us. So, we've got some perspective going on, right? So, it comes down around here pointy elbow and then like some muscle arm lines and then bicep curves around there right and then hands right so we got this big huge hand here so quite detailed hand the way they drew it so see so the bottom of the hand kind of bumps around here right it curves up around the back of the hand right and this will come up to knuckles we've got one knuckle going in here the next one kind of curves out a bit and goes in there and then the next one the pointy goes up towards the index finger. So our index comes up, we change direction for our knuckle, go in towards his head. So this line curves up and then changes in towards his head. And then it'll go down towards the tip of the finger and curve it around here. 
bump around again. Keep the line there like that. So this finger then goes up, change direction at the knuckle. And then we go down around and we're going to draw over his hair, okay? So you'll erase whatever disappears underneath that. Right, so then next one goes up, change direction again, down in behind the next finger, right? You could have like some skin lines and stuff, just in there. Right, so then this finger, we did like his little finger, right? So it goes sort of here <clears throat> and because it's his little finger we can sort of see the side of it so it like curves around like that and then we got like some skin fold kind of lines just in here and like the side of his hand <clears throat> Handline there. And then there's like some extra knuckle lines and a fingernail up the top here. Like some knuckle lines on top of each knuckle. Knuckle line there. And then, and then his thumb <coughs> just sticks up here. And you just erase the lines inside there. I might do that now for the hair. Okay, so that's that hand. That's pretty tricky now. It's pretty advanced hand position to draw. So take your time with that. <clears throat> okay, so the other hand over here. Bump it around twice. And we can see just the thumb. Like so. And then we go down to the side and then the index finger sticks up and the toes down and then we have a fingernail on top of this and then some like skin lines and stuff just for his finger there with square fingers next one curves down this way Fingernail on top. <clears throat> Next finger. Knuckle lines. This one's kind of curved around itself. And then the baby finger. Go in here. And then just some lines for the palm of his hand. Like so. <clears throat> and then I think he does have an aura, right? So we'll give him sort of this spiky kind of aura. <clears throat> Sorry now about my cough. But I've got a real tickly cough. It's annoying. Okay. Now that's all like blue. So. There he is, Ultra Gogeta Blue. Hope it's helpful.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.